Trigger warning, motherfuckers, I'm critiquing MGK's diss on the Eminem rap devil. So just because you're a big MGK fan doesn't mean you have to come to this video talking all kinds of shit. I've uploaded this video once today thinking, you know, people might understand the sarcasm that the video had and the comedic humor that it had. But I don't know why the fuck I thought people on the internet would be understanding and smart about a video. Well, here's your fucking trigger warning, okay? I talk as massive shit about MGK in this and everything completely horribly wrong with the video and the music and everything about rap devil. This doesn't mean I don't like the song. I actually enjoy the song, but this video is talking about everything bad about it. I actually plan to do a video on everything good about the song, but people just jump to all kinds of massive conclusions, call me an Eminem dick writer and all this other stuff. Fuck you guys. You guys don't know a fucking thing. So here's your trigger warning, you snowflake trigger happy fairies out there. Enjoy the fucking video. Fuck rap god, I'm the rap devil. Five seconds of World Star letting you know that this video is World Star's because World Star. And that's what World Star does. Slow cinematics of Machine Gun Kelly eating a mysterious substance out of a paper bowl. What's in the bowl? Cereal? Oatmeal? The tears of Eminem? I fail to see the significance of the scene and what it does for the music video as a whole. Was the budget for this video like 10 bucks? So far we've seen a 99 cent paper bowl and a $6 shovel. Somebody grabbing some clippers. This fucking beard is weird. Seriously? That's your opening line? Arguably the greatest rapper alive is challenging your career and you open with an insult from the mind of a toddler? I'm adding 50 cents just for that. I think my dad's gone crazy. Yeah, Haley, you right. Dad's always mad, cooped up in the studio, yelling at the mic. MGK yelling at the front of a car, thinking it's a microphone. You sober and bored, huh? If you don't do drugs, you're boring, cliche. Why you sound like a bitch, bitch? So far, the disses have been that his beard is weird and that he is a bitch, bitch. It's as if the disses have elevated from toddler to pre-teenage. Is this character development? You mad about something I said in 2012, took you six years and a surprise album just to come with a diss? Machine Gun Kelly surprised Eminem waited six years to finally diss him after calling his 16-year-old daughter hot, even though Eminem's diss was mostly about recent events and barely about the 2012 incident at all. Also, his daughter was fucking 16 at the time when he was 22. Statutory rape is an eight-year sentence, so eight sins is appropriate. Homie, we get it. We know that you're the greatest rapper alive. Machine Gun Kelly forgets he's in the middle of a diss track. Fucking dweeb, all you do is read the dictionary and stay inside. Machine Gun Kelly reverts back to his toddler insults. Also, why the fuck is this still here? We get it, World Star. This is your YouTube channel, and this is your website on this music video that is on your YouTube channel. I fuck rap god, I'm the rap devil. MGK forgets the devil used to be an angel in heaven, but was cast down to hell to burn for all eternity because he tried to overthrow God and failed miserably. Ah, the irony. I'm sick of them sweatsuits and them corny hats, let's talk about it. This is one of the only choruses I've ever heard that has a severe amount of autotune for somebody that's not even singing. Also, he says he's tired of Eminem's sweatsuits and corny hats. It's as if this track was ghostwritten by a 12-year-old kid. All of us sing dads from the Midwest, we can talk about it. Or we can get gully, or size up your body and put some white chalk around it. How is both of them being a single dad from the Midwest a diss? Also, this course is nothing but filler disses. You can take it all and plug it into a different diss track and it would work for the most part. Hey, let's talk about the fact you actually blackballed a rapper that's twice as young as you. He's already talked about Eminem's age once, so why is he doing it again? It's as if he's already run out of material and it's only the second verse. Can't cover up the facts, your last four albums is bad as a selfie, now tell me. Calling your opponent ugly cliche. What are you stand for? What? I know you can't stand yourself, bro. Trying to be the old you so bad you stand yourself. Holy shit. This diss track has been nothing but subpar insults this entire time, but that was probably one of the best lines I've ever heard. I'm taking away 10 cents just for that. But I'm adding one more because this world star hip hop watermark is still there. Uh, let's leave all the beef in the 50. Please. And push pushing 50. Rhyming 50 with 50. Also, this is the third time he's talked about Eminem's old age, and it's only a minute and a half into the track. The big bad bully of the rap game can't take a fucking joke. Considering his daughter was only 16 at the time that you called her hot, I wouldn't take it lightly either. Neither would the American justice system. Don't have a heart attack now. Somebody help your mans up. Help. Knees weak or old age. The real Slim Shady can't stand up. At this point, I'm just curious to see how many different ways he can call Eminem old. Hello, Marshall. My name's Colson. You should go back to recovery. Earlier, he talked about how Eminem's selfies were as bad as his last four albums. Recovery was only three albums ago. So is he calling Eminem cute? I know your ego is hurting just knowing that all of your fans discovered me. Hi. He like, damn, he a younger me. Except he dresses better and I'm ugly. Really? A fifth old joke in the first two minutes? Also, MGK reverts back to his toddler insults. At at this point, I wouldn't be surprised if you heard UGLY, you ain't got no alibi. Drop an album just because of me. Damn, you in love with me. Eminem talked about him for less than 20 seconds on one song of a 13 song album. I can name a handful of other artists that he talked about way more than Machine Gun Kelly on this album. But you just a bully acting like a baby, so I gotta read you a nursery. A nursery book at any dollar store is less than 99 cents. I'm beginning to think they just found the cereal bowl and the shovel in a dumpster earlier. Ride a shoddy, cause I got a road, it's dope. It's a fast road. What the fuck does this have to do with anything at all? It's like MGK already had a hook recorded for a different song and never used it and decided to throw it on this one, which is very strange considering this song already has a hook that is repeated four different times. To me, you were soft as a feather. Soft as a feather cliche. You got an Oscar, damn, can anyone else get 
some food in their mouth. Machine Gun Kelly saying he's jealous of Eminem without him actually realizing it. You're not getting better with time, it's fine, Eminem. Put down the pen. That's a spoon. How could I even look up to you? You ain't as tall as me. Five eight, man. I'm six four. More toddler insults. Also, MGK wants the world to know that he knows how to use Google. Last time you saw eight mile was at home on a treadmill. Eight miles is an extremely long distance to run. I understand that you're trying to bring up that Eminem doesn't actually go to eight mile in Detroit, but I feel like there was a different way you could have said that without giving him a compliment that is well beyond the average person. Text me to Addy, I'm pulling up scrappy. Meet me somewhere and let's fight cliche. Yeah, there's a difference between us. I got all of my shit without Dre producing me. This is true. Dre did not produce Machine Gun Kelly. But P. Diddy did, who's arguably one of the most known people in the music business of all time. Already fucked one rapper's girl this week, don't make me call Kim. MGK just proves he's nothing but an asshole, and you honestly shouldn't be friends with him. Mom spaghetti, mom spaghetti, mom spaghetti, mom spaghetti, mom spaghetti.